and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am playing with colours. Um, I've been talking to an interior decorator who is looking for some art and but she wants it in neutral colours. Now if you've seen any of my paintings so far uh, they're not really neutral. <laughs> um, and so I had had a look at some color charts I've had a look at some videos and I've been playing with color <clears throat> as you can see here now apparently how to make a neutral is by taking two colors on the opposite side of the color wheel and mixing them and at some point in the mix you will come across a color that's kind of vaguely gray <laughs> now hey you know what that's that's an interesting interesting thing grey has always been a colour that I have uh, steered a well away from which is silver's great but grey mm. anyway so I've been playing as you can see um, and what I have got there on the top line is a combination of my crimson red from Renault Art and my cobalt blue from Reeves um, that makes this color here and as you add more and more white to it it comes further and further down the scale um, then the next line down this one here is again that same blue no sorry green ha <laughs> ha crimson and green is the top line oh michelle brain dead talk about that um then the second line is the cobalt blue and deep yellow and then the third line down is still the cobalt blue but with the yellow ochre from um, Mary's so I really really like that last one and when I played with that and up here they seem to work together they seem to blend quite nicely although so did these so you know hey how's it getting any better let's have a play so now it is time to make some quantities that are big enough to pour with and see if those colors can actually pour together so <clears throat> I'm gonna take that away and uh, so these are my premixes from yesterday we've got the green We've got the crimson. Oh, no, we don't. We've got purple. Haha, <laughs> that's right. The blue got in the crimson. I'm going to have to mix some crimson up. How does it get any better than that? So, you guys get to see me mix crimson. How does it get any better? And what else is possible now? As I put my crimson. <laughs> Here we go. So guys, have we got, are you in sight there? Let's get the green out of the way. We don't want to mix those two together yet. I'm going to make a reasonable amount because I like this crimson and it works really well as a colour. Um, I will be going back. Pretty sure I got that from the warehouse actually. And that Renault art. And uh, a big splodge of the flow troll. Photrol is available at Bunnings, Mighty 10, all of them. Um, <clears throat> and then we just mix them up. Floetrol, um dries clear, so although it's white at this point and it, it starts getting quite pink. Although on this lighting, I really need to get some daylight lamps. Um, this lighting it looks quite red on camera it's very very pink uh where are you there uh, no can't get it so that you can see the color 
Oh. I've tried this before in another video. And, um, it doesn't happen. $2.50 for that from the warehouse, guys. I mean, really, it's all good. Mix it up. And when I'm using these little tuna tins, and I, I take the tops off using the Tupperware thing, so you get a clean edge on the top and on the bottom. Um, and then you can just use them as lids. See? Doesn't snow non-cut on both surfaces and um, use them as lids and they stay um, stay fresh like I was using some paint the other day that I had mixed up two weeks ago and I added just a tiny drop of water back into it and it was back up and raring to go now obviously that is way too thick so that's where our little squeegee bottle of water comes in this is, these are great, they're, um, they're only a small hole, so you only get a small amount of water. I first off tried using a pump bottle, and well, that was a bit of a disaster really, because there's way too much water come out. Um, I actually think my camera's so low that you're actually getting colour blocked, the uh, light blocked. <clears throat> Sorry, this video is going to be longer than I thought it was going to be because I had forgotten that my pink turned purple with the accidental splash of blue. Oh, yum. Yum. Runny honey, apparently, is the colour that we want. And then, so that I remember, one, two, seriously dollop pulls of CRC808 silicon and just give that a quick mix I don't want to mix it in too much so we've got our green and we've got our red and we've got our spare pot now I'm gonna make up the brownie color the ready brownie neutral in this pot first adding some white to make sure that we get um, a neutral colour but not too white because I'm going to then add white into the mix so I don't want it disappearing on me now um, what I found was I started off with the red and then I added I need another stirry stick just a little bit of green at a time. Now I was doing this in such minute amounts it wasn't funny. So I have no idea really at what point this is going to turn. Now <clears throat> if you went to school at a school that taught colours like my school did you got taught that red and blue and yellow mixed together make brown so it was kind of my go-to place to start making a neutral color because to me neutrals like beige and tan and you know if you're going to be going to a color as such um that looks more like purple to me, but anyway, here we go, a bit more green. Um, I thought, well, you get a brown and then dilute it down and you'll get some sort of beigey type colour. And uh, how does it get any better than that? And it's still looking rather pink. Where's my test sheet? You guys see that? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's still too pink. Let's see. Me being impatient, I'm the type of person that would go, ah, just shove a whole heap more in. <laughs> and then it goes too far, and then you got to add more red, and then you got to, ah, oh, end up with a 
huge pot of a colour that you don't really like and don't want to use. <laughs> ah, can you see that? Is that starting to... It's starting to, but it's not there yet. Need some more green. Probably put in too much red to start with. So, that, you know, when you're mixing colours like this, guys, you've got to know that you're never, ever going to get the same colour again unless you weigh your things exactly and then weigh the next round exactly and write it all down and document it and keep notes and <sighs> keeping notes was never my forte that's looking much browner now let's have a look at that mm. yeah a little bit more green still a bit more getting there though Getting closer. It's looking a lot more like brown. It's almost looking like chocolate in there, actually. It's quite yummy looking. Mmm. Anyone got any strawberries? Oh, I like eating the strawberries in my yogurt. In my chocolate. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Oh, I got it. Oops. Now, we're starting to get more the sort of colour that I'm after. But it's still quite pink. What do I want to do? Yeah, but more green. More green! More green! Call for more green! So, everybody call more green! More green, more green! Oh my god, this is going to be a long video. I am so sorry, guys. Totally didn't even throw this into consideration. So, that's definitely chocolate coloured now. Oh, look at that. Yummy. Awesome. So, we've got our rich chocolate brown. Now, in this pot, I've got some white made up. And this is my Reeves Intro Acrylic White. Um, and it's been made up for a while. Ooh, check that out. Ooh, yeah, army. <laughs> I love those stripes. <gasps> Look, got cells. <laughs> How's it getting any better than that? Awesome. I'm liking that. Right, that is my colour. That is my... <coughs> neutral brown. Because it can still go a lot lighter when it mixes with the white in the pot. Cool, so, yay, we have our neutral brownie kind of thing, colour. Um, so let's put the lids back on our pre-mixed colours. Oh, lovely. Somebody started the chainsaw. I hope it doesn't come through too loud on, your, on the video, guys. But, you know, when you live in a neighbourhood... So the other colour that we had um, was the, so this one's the cobalt blue and the deep yellow. This one's the cobalt blue and the ochre. So I again have two pre-mixed and yes I do actually have some in those tins so you don't have to watch me mix that up. <coughs> so here's my empty one. Let's go, let's pour it, let's see what happens. Uh, now, as per instructions from a video I watched, start with the light colour. Easier to add small amounts of the darker colour. Then start off with a big giant chunk of... Um, dark colour and have to add 500 tonnes of the light colour to try and tone it down. Ew, that's ugly. <laughs> Interesting point of view. I have that point of view. 
Oh my goodness, I don't like that colour at all. How close is it? <laughs> it's actually not far off. <clears throat> I'm not going to have a lot of paint in this one. How does it get any better than that? Now, an internal interior designer who does staging of other people's homes. <clears throat> That's who I was talking to. Hey, look at the cells on the side. Um, and so I totally get that. She requires colours that, I think that's ugly enough actually, <laughs> I think if I put too much more blue in there I'm actually going to end up with a quite a nice green, so I'm going to leave it at that, um, and add some of our white. So when you're staging a home, it's one of those things where you go into a house, it's already got certain things it's already got carpet it's already got wall color it's already got curtains <clears throat> and then you need to add furniture and dressings and little bits and pieces to make it saleable to make it look presentable and look pretty and um, stuff for the photos and for the open homes and all of that kind of stuff so Oh my god, that's really not a colour I would normally use. Do I need to go lighter? Mm. What do you reckon, guys? We've got... Do, do, do. And do, do, do. And they look quite good together. Can you see that? These ones. They actually look really good together. How's it get any better than that? Hardly got any colour in here. But that's okay, because I'm just playing with colours. I want to see... I mean, I'm looking at doing something sort of about a me, half a metre square. Half a metre... Um, half a square metre. <clears throat> 900 by 600. So I want to get the colours kind of sorted out in my head before I start doing um, <laughs> um looking for my drip cups um, before I start pouring paint onto a gigantic canvas <laughs> uh, really not my idea of fun to be practicing on a gigantic canvas although our emporium here in Rotorua has a really good price on those big canvases, so <clears throat> let's put the lids back on these originals and get them out of the way and keep the two that are coming to play and then we've got I'm going to use that white because it kind of needs using up and it's still actually a really good thickness and then the other colour I am going to use if I can find it where are you? there you are is Mars Black and this is the Reeves Intro Acrylic Mars Black just that really now so the three colours have got silicon in them already. I'll move this out of the way so I don't put my elbow in it. And the white, I don't think it has. Uh, although it's got a bit of a got a bit of a shine on the top there. It might do. Awesome. Let's move those out of the way. And ah hope you're enjoying our instrumental chainsawing in the background. <laughs> Have to get any better than that. Firewood. Firewood. It's firewood. 
Oh, it's handy. Now, these are some leftover tiles from my mother-in-law's bathroom. So, tiles are fabulous for this testing. I got this idea from Debbie at Acrylic Forum. And um, I'll put her link in the description, if I remember. So, <clears throat> the other thing I want to try is... Um, I'd like to do ribbons, like pour ribbons, and but I'd like to create a, what's that thing called, um, lacing weaving you know like over under over under and I've been trying to work out in my head how to do that and I think I'm going to need at least two cups so I'm going to have a play I'm going to use two cups two tiny little shot glasses oh my goodness gracious me how does it get any better is I'm going to do them the same, both cups the same, so that we don't end up so little of this that I'm scraping already I just want a little bit of black just to oops there's a little bit more black in that one than in that one <laughs> uh, let's go for some white There's a lot of this brown in this cup, a lot of brown, a lot of white, not much black, and not much of this yellow ochre, greeny, khaki colour. <laughs> khaki colour, khaki colour, how does it get any better? khaki colour in here and then get some more of the black and then we're going to play at pouring now because I'm not going to do a flip cup I am going to stir this What I'm going to stir it with is this stick here. Just a single whoop whoop. Ooh, I think this might work color wise. All right. Hey, check out the stick. Can you see it? That's even pretty. Can you? I haven't been checking to see if you guys are in focus, but look at that. That's kind of cool. I quite like it. It's, um, yeah. All right. <clears throat> now, before I tip this, I'm going to give you guys a bit of look. Okay, so 
if I go I don't know how to do this <laughs> all right maybe if I just do two ribbons let's see two one way and one the other hmm. I'm gonna do that I don't really want these spots that is a test run. If it comes out looking good, someone might want it. <laughs> it's on a shiny surface already. Alright. So that needs to go over, then under. To try my... Oh, didn't want to do that. Oh my god. I like these colours. This is so cool. Look at those cells. They are so awesome. All right. <laughs> I don't know whether this black's going to create some interesting. Eek. <laughs> it's a bit of a mess really. Right, let's see what the what the gun'll do. I got carried away with my stripes, I think. I call it my gun, but it's it. It's a butane torque. I'll show it to you after I've done this. My husband bought it from Barney. And you're really just warming the paint. There's no moving the paint with the gun. And by warming, there you go, that's what it looks like. It's a Bromic plumbing and gas gun. <clears throat> I'm just going to let it run that way. You know what? I don't like it. But that's not really surprising because I'm not a fan of neutral colours. Not my palette as normal. But when I was playing in the garage today, I found this. And I'm going to see how well it works as a squeegee for doing a swipe. Because you know what? I've not done a swipe on video yet. So I've got some of this.
white that I mixed up a while ago and this one is the Bass Student Acrylic something to wipe this on okay. now I've learnt from watching plenty of people doing swipe videos you always wipe your swipey thing between swipes Oops. Why do you do that, Michelle? Oh, this is starting to look quite cool. I'm liking it. Why do you do that? You do that so that you don't contaminate your white. That really doesn't want to be swiped. Oops, I've gone right down to the tile there. Okay. I'm just going to tip. See if we can get that to... Start up the torch. Oh, getting something I quite like. So it needs to be more muted obviously. Those colours were just too intense. They went camping, <laughs> as my husband would say. How does it get any better than that? I like it. I do, I do, I like it. I like it a lot. Let me get you down and I can show you what I'm seeing. All right, guys, here we go. So this is what I'm seeing. I am really liking this. This part down in here. I'm trying to get you a nice look. Look at those multi-colored cells that have come through. I'm sure that... That's so pretty. I might start liking neutral colours after this, guys. Can you get it to focus? Yeah, so definitely pinker. I mean, more white in the original. Check that out. Oh, that's so pretty. All right. 
it. I like it. I think I like it. How does it get any better than that? It's always nice when you like your painting. So as I learned from Anne-Marie, if you don't like it, keep playing with it. So there you go, guys. There's my first muted colored palette. I like it. Thanks for playing with me, and I'll see you in another video. Cheers.